when I saw Big Boy had this new item on the menu, I just had to try it and review it. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Cincinnati, Ohio to Frisch's Big Boy. And they have something new on the menu called Grippo's Barbecue Potato Chip Grilled Cheese. And I had to check it out. I asked Big Boy about it and he ain't talking. So let's go and find out for ourselves. Our adventure starts here. Okay, here's my sandwich. And it looks really good. It looks appetizing. It's a nice even golden color. And when I pull it apart, look at that. It has the right balance of chips with cheese. And it looks like they've got a pretty good amount of cheese in it. And for those of you who do not know, Grippo's is a Cincinnati-based company. So this is rather a, a Cincinnati-based sandwich. So let's try it out and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, let's have a bite. Looks really good, doesn't it? I don't smell the potato chip in it, but I can definitely get that grilled cheese smell. Mm. That's really good. And I don't know if you can see if, if the camera will focus, but you see there's a whole lot of back up a little bit. There's a whole lot of chips smashed in it. This is really good. It starts off really cheesy like your typical grilled cheese and then at the end you can kind of feel that barbecue flavor in the back of your throat it's good the other thing I think by having the potato chips in with it it gives it a little bit more volume because in the past when I get grilled cheese from Frisch's they're kind of flat and sometimes they don't put enough cheese in so this is great this is definitely a sandwich that had the cheese on either side of the bread and the chips in the middle so it's kind of no pun intended the chips are sandwiched in mm. This is good. And it's nice that they have a Cincinnati based company with this sandwich because there aren't that many left. Uh, Husbands went out of business. Oots Potato Chip Company bought them out and they are discontinuing Husbands. So we have Grippos and I think Mike sells this local as well. So this is definitely a good sandwich. And I'm starting to feel the barbecue heat in the back of my throat and that's nice it's it's a sandwich that has some kick to it <clears throat> and it's not a messy sandwich either I thought with the potato chips crunched up in it I'd be wearing part of it on my jacket but I'm not so this is definitely a, a hit I would be interested though if I go back tomorrow or later on this evening different shift with different cooks if the quality of the sandwich would still be good I know it depends from location to location and the freshest that I went to for this sandwich they really just have great service and the food's always good so maybe I, I stack the deck in my favor a little bit but I like this So, let me finish the other half, and when I'm done with the sandwich, I'll give you my final review. So, what did I think about the sandwich? It was really good, and it's kind of like a concept sandwich, in that I was thinking about all the variations I could create, other than just the Grippo's barbecue chips. So, maybe... 
use a different type of bread, different types of cheeses, and go to Jungle Gyms and get some of the pepper cheeses like the habanero or ghost pepper cheddars, and maybe salt and vinegar chips, and with some English cheddar, that would be good. And I mean, the, the limits, well, there are no limits, are there? So, <clears throat> I would say this is an excellent sandwich. I would give it, as far as a concept sandwich, I'd give it a 10 because there's all sorts of things you could do with it. Uh, for my sandwich that I received from, from Frisch's, the construction of it was a 10. It had the right balance of chips with the cheese. And I can tell you from past experiences with Frisch's, sometimes it's more bread than cheese and it's just a complete waste. So... This was a good one. Um, the flavor, I give it a nine, actually, because it had a good balance of cheese with the chips. And Grippos, they're really not like usual chips, where, like say some barbecue chips I've had, they there's really not much barbecue to it. There's not much flavor to it. It's really just more of a, a dusty chip that leaves your fingers orange. So Grippos, they're the real deal. They have uh, a nice kind of kick to it. And the sandwich, I was surprised that it had a little bit of kick to it. Not a lot. I mean, it's on a scale of 1 to 10, a 1, you know. But it was good. And I liked it. I would highly recommend it. And in the comments down below, if you decide to make this yourself, or you try to do a variation of, of a sandwich like this, tell me what you did and how it turned out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And be sure to share on your social media. So until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. And one of the nice things about reviewing this sandwich in Target's parking lot, I can use their bathroom before going on my next adventure.